What's up, Tim Sykes, Millionaire Mentor and Trader here. In this video, I'm gonna talk about my views on crypto. It's not as simple as you might think. Please watch to the very end. All right, so crypto, um, I have a lot of mixed emotions. Number one, I have so many scammers and imposters. I will never DM you. I'm not Timothy Sykes 374. I'm not Jerome FX. Bitcoin, manage your money. Like there's so many random screen names that take my photos and videos. I'm sorry. Um, that's the main reason why I haven't done more in crypto just because there's so many scammers and it's very easy for me to say, no, I don't do anything. These are scammers. Um, there is opportunity though. I think if you are meticulous and I'm not saying give any money uh, to anybody to manage, I'm not saying trust any wallet address. There are so many scams, it's unbelievable. As many penny stock scams as there are, there's probably a thousand to one crypto to penny stock scams, seriously. Um, so if anybody ever approaches you about crypto, there's a 99.999% chance that it's a scam of some kind. Uh, whether they get caught, whether it goes to zero, a million excuses. But that's the main reason why I've avoided crypto. That said, crypto has spiked big. A lot of different altcoins have spiked big. Um, NFTs are kind of an offshoot of crypto. That spiked big. I now have my own NFT club um, where everyone gets uh, NFT alerts actually from one of my millionaire students, Adam. He's made six figures trading penny stocks, but seven figures trading NFTs. So, you know, whatever works. I'm not against NFTs. I think that there's a lot of scams in the NFT world too. Long story short, be scared. Leave a comment actually below this video and say, I will be meticulous. Cause that's what it comes down to. Trusting other people, thinking that stuff's gonna go to the moon. Don't do it. Um, really start small if you're gonna do anything. You know, for me, I, I personally wouldn't get involved in crypto, especially if I was like a new trader. The stock market, the US dollar, I know it gets a lot of hate, but it's a good structure that is not at risk at least not right now. Like I think it's kind of like, you know, climate change where it's sometime in the next few decades or centuries where the dollar will probably drop in value because there's a lot of bad stuff happening in the US. But right now in a crazy world, the US dollar has actually gotten stronger. And I'm proud to basically be like 100% invested in the US dollar. Um, that's another story, the US dollar. In this video, I want you to understand that Crypto is volatile, but the scam artists are running the place, right? It's like the inmates running the penitentiary. That is what is happening with crypto right now. And I'm sorry to be a cynic, but I get three, four, five, sometimes 10 messages a day from people saying, I've been scammed in crypto. I've been scammed with NFTs. I've been, and it's just sad, you know? And it's because people impersonate me and my top students. It's not just me who doesn't DM people. Um, all my top students have their own imposters too. Every single imposter uses crypto. Why is that? Because as of right now, in early 2022, the number one thing that crypto has done, united all of the world's criminals in one currency. Before crypto, there were scammers, but they would try to scam in different currencies. The problem is, if you scam in currencies, then you get like the feds or the police or whatever country's currency after you. Um, Currencies are backed by governments. Governments don't like scams. Crypto has a lot of potential, but there is no crypto police. There's no crypto government. And I know that's the beauty of it, but that's also the downside. And you gotta talk about it. Um, unfortunately, that's the way of the world right now. And it's kind of like the Wild West where there's no sheriff in town. Um, that's a good analogy of what's happening in crypto. So there's a lot of opportunity if you catch uh, a ride on these altcoins or catch a ride on these NFTs, but just expect the worst. And that's why I'm very excited um, to teach more about NFTs coming up. I'm still learning right now um, because I think that there is potential, especially with how volatile the niche is, but with a trader's mentality. Do not just hold and hope like these crypto promoters tell you to. It's not just scam artists, it's also promoters. There's another uh, dangerous thing going on in crypto where you have penny stock promoters who are like, buy this little piece of crap penny stock, it's gonna change the world, they cured cancer, they found gold in Peru, they found oil, um, billions of oil, it's all BS in penny stocks. 
With crypto, they make these pie in the sky type promises. The difference between penny stock promoters and crypto promoters, penny stock promoters pump up these stocks that usually spike for a few days, weeks, or months, but then they collapse because there's so many shares out there. With crypto, the one thing that crypto promoters have done um, and crypto scam artists, there's not that many coins out there. It's a limited supply. So these things can really spike. And this is why the crypto promoters toe the party line where they say, just hold, hold all, you know, diamond hands, laser eyes. This is revolutionizing. They're, all they're doing is trying to lock up the supply to increase the price even more. Because if they can create a demand, which they've done well, and there's a limited supply, the price has to rise. And then it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. Um, you know, Michael Saylor with MicroStrategy taking a sleepy software company and putting the assets into crypto, fantastic job. His stock went from the hundreds all the way up to like 1200. It was like 10 times in a very short amount of time. His failure though, was that he began to believe his own BS where they have to hold all the time and he didn't take any profits, none, because they think that Bitcoin's going to a million. Maybe it will, but you don't have to be that dumb. You don't have to be that bad at timing. If a crypto goes up 10 times or a stock goes up 10 times, take some profits, okay? Not everything is the next Tesla. We saw this with Nikola. We saw this with the LTNC army, the HMBL army, the ENZC army, with Sponge Tech. I mean, I can name thousands, thousands of promotions with promoters and they all failed. Whether they dropped 90, 95 or 99%. That's the majority of crypto and nfts so never ever i don't care if you believe in it all you want i don't care if it's your own crypto or your own nft collection never just hold and say this is going to go up forever if the price ever does appreciate so much learn to take some off the table i'm not saying you have to sell all but you should take some off the table just in case i just talked with a friend who actually made over two hundred thousand dollars in nfts he didn't sell any, he was, he was profiting, um, but then you know, he would sell an NFT and buy a new one. So he had gone from a very small amount, I think like a few thousand to 200,000 plus in profits. And I'm telling him, just put some in US dollars just in case. He didn't listen, he kept buying NFTs. NFTs have now crashed. The currencies that fund the NFTs. This is what is so really heartbreaking. If you have one of these NFTs and it's gone up and now NFTs are dropping 50, 60, 70, 80%, and the currencies on which they're based are dropping 50, 60, 70, 80%, you're getting hit twice. It's, you're getting just crushed. And what I didn't even realize until my friend just told me, I'm not gonna call him out, he actually paid taxes on his gains. So he had 200,000 plus in profits, but he paid, I think like 80,000 in gains in taxes, so we add you know, what was left, but now the price of the NFT and the currencies on which the NFTs are based, Ethereum mainly, have all crashed. So now he's actually underwater. How to go from locking in $200,000 in profits to being negative 20,000. You don't need to do that, okay? This is why I have excitement and I'm really looking at getting into NFTs, because if you have the trader mindset where you sell into strength, you cut losses quickly, it can be applied to crypto and NFTs. No matter if it goes against the crowd, just don't tell them, okay? Pretend that you're one of these people where they're like, oh yeah, we're just gonna hold all day long. We'll never take profits, it's going to the moon. Just pretend that you're with the crowd. Or if you wanna be you know, like me and just blunt about everything, tell them. Tell them what, you know, just degenerate, not even degenerate traders, degenerate holders, bag holders, which they are now. And now they say, oh, everything's down 50, 60, 70, 80%, it'll come back. I hope it does. But that doesn't mean that you should have held all the way down. Same thing with these penny stocks. I hope ENZC does come back, okay? Unfortunately, if you're down 70, 80, 90%, the stock has to go up a lot. The crypto has to go up a lot for you just to break even. Imagine if you sold into strength, then you watch it crash, and then you dip by. Some people say, oh, you can't time. You're not an idiot. You're not as dumb as some of these people, okay? I have faith in you guys, some of you, and girls, okay? I have more millionaire students than ever now, so I do have some, some kind of success ratio here with you know getting through to people. I can't save everybody, I can't help everybody. Some people will continue to be stubborn, but 
Leave a comment below. Let me know if you promise to take profits into strength, if you promise to be wary, and you understand that most cryptos and NFTs are scams. Don't be angry at the messenger. Be thankful.